you see that new um, Sha'Carri Richardson film trailer? I did. I did. Um, hold on a second. Oh, Gabby. Oh, yeah. Gabby Thomas medal. That's why I said 100. Gabby's good. 200 women a little bit better. Okay. Sorry. Yes, sorry. Anyway, back to this. here. Yeah, there's a lot on, of man. comments. You know, anytime we talk about anytime we talk about Jamaica, there's all these comments, and, uh, and I'm lagging. Uh, did I see the trailer? Yes. So executive produced by the late Virgil Abloh. I saw that it was shot over two days at the U.S. Olympic trials. Got the description right here. It says a rumination on time, loss, and hope, and a poetic imagining on the quest of Shakira Richardson, a young track and field athlete, to achieve her dream of qualifying for the Olympic Games. The interesting thing is. With Richardson, obviously she has a very interesting backstory, but what came next right after this point when they were filming is where people would really be interested in seeing the story. You know, when she's disqualified from the trials and can't run in the Olympics and then has to come back and compete at the Prefontaine Classic. Like that part of the story to me is is captivating as well. But she is she's an athlete that People are intensely, intensely following what the this thing's what, 25, 25 minutes. I'll tune in. Yeah, twenty four minutes. Comes out, I think it comes out Thursday. I'll tune in. I have questions. Couple. So I'm I have a feeling it's not gonna be what we think it's gonna be. I mean, again, this is all based off a trailer, a, a you know, an eighty second trailer. But I think we might expect a certain type of story being told and then we're going to get a different story and we're going to be like, ah, like we're going to want more. Like, I think a lot of viewers kind of with the whole, you know, rise of really good sports documentaries, uh, Flow Jack mm-hmm. does them. You guys should watch them. NAU running with the boys. Very running good. with the boys. About, you know, <laughs> like there's that, you know, that cheer documentary on Netflix. Everyone's right. talking about that formula one thing. And, People probably think every time a sports documentary comes out, it's going to be like that. But mm-hmm. the way I watch this trailer, again, only 90 seconds of footage I'm seeing, it feels like it's going to – I was surprised they didn't talk at all about the suspension in it. Mm-hmm. And you think that she would want to – that that would be like the story. It would be like you just ran one the fastest time in the world, and then mm-hmm. you got banned, and you had to re- – deal with that situation, yeah. that shitty situation, how you're going to overcome it going into next year and all these different things, it's, you know, dealing with the mother's death and all that. Right. And, but the way the title of the sh- film is sub 11 seconds mm-hmm, mm-hmm. was like, I don't know about you, but like when I think of she Carrie Richardson, I don't think of like her achieving a feat of breaking 11 seconds because mm-hmm. college kids do that. You know, mm-hmm. a lot of people do that. Like, when you think of Shakira Richardson, you think of coming out of nowhere as a freshman at LSU, not just breaking 11 seconds, but running 10 sevens mm-hmm. and putting her name on the map and then her name getting taken off the map because of a bullshit marijuana rule and then uh, going up against Jamaicans, losing that, and now she's going to have to rally back in 2022 to kind of mm-hmm. get her redemption from her high to her low, get back to that high, right? Yeah. And I don't know, Sub 11 Seconds, which is the name of this movie, just seems like, it's not, is it going to be about that? So, I mean, I'll watch it, and I mean, I'm judging a book by its cover because I'm judging a book by its trailer, but I have a feeling it's not going to be what we want it to be. That's it, all I'm saying. Well, when it said it shot over two days of the trials, that to me leads me to believe that that stuff's not going to be in it because it hadn't happened yet. The suspension hadn't happened yet. So I think what you're arguing for is a longer piece, which I think most people would be into because that's almost where the story begins is at trials. Yeah, she qualifies for the Olympic team, but then there's this suspension and then she doesn't get to compete in Tokyo and all the attention and the commentary that went along with it was unlike anything we had seen in track recently. And it's the reason why so many people are familiar with with Richardson. I-